Alright guys, so today I'll be uh, teaching you or telling you how to hatch brine shrimp eggs. It's relatively simple, you're going to need a couple things though. So if you don't have those things, you need scissors. Then you're going to need the actual eggs themselves. Something to measure the brine shrimp eggs and salt out with. Then air pump, airline tubing, salt, and the bottle, and baking soda. So what you need to do first is you're going to need to cut the bottle about one-third the way up from the bottom. As you see here, I cut mine too short, so I need I should have cut it higher, but I didn't. So what you're going to do is put your uh, base down and then put the top part cap first into that bottom. If it was taller, it would be the solid support, but it was a little short, so yeah. And then the next step would be to start to prepare the mix. So you need warm tap water. Then you're going to want to plug your air, uh, air hose in. Put it in there and need it to kind of circulate the eggs so they don't settle. Um, it's better to use stiff airline tubing, but I don't have any, so I just made do with what I have. Um, so the mix is generally about one tablespoon of salt per liter. That was a one liter bottle, and it says one heaping tablespoon since uh, we cut that, it was a little bit less than a liter. So I'm going to only use about one just tablespoon, just straight tablespoon, just leveled off. I spilt, so don't spill it like I do, because it gets messy. Um, then they generally take 36 hours to hatch. 24 to 36, depending on what you, what the temperature is. Need oh, one thing I forgot to mention: you need a light, a light to keep the water warm, or to keep it just keep it warm. And then when it when they're done hatching, they use the light to uh, they swim there. So you dump your salt in, let it mix for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Then you add the baking soda to stabilize the pH. Just one pinch of the uh, baking soda. And I just had to adjust my airline hose. So yeah, I'll cut that out. 